Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of data structures. Our today's topic is graph traversal algorithm BFS. Hi, this is your instructor Janis Shah. So let's begin with the today's outlines. Students, first today we are going to learn about the BFS solution steps. That means how can we solve the bread first search algorithm and then We'll talk about the examples and tracing of the algorithm using Q. So first we have breadth first search algorithm. As we all know that breadth first search that means here we are going to traverse the nodes in according to the breadth wise. Okay. See if this is a root node A, this is B and this is C. So for particular root node A, you are going to visit nodes in breadth of the graph branches fine so bfs use q for the maintain the visited nodes and the list of the adjacent nodes okay so next we have the first example we have the steps for the bfs using q students so here you need to take your q equal size same as the number of nodes in the graph okay fine next step number two select any vertex from that graph but according to arbitrary wise you always remember that whenever you apply for the dfs bfs and such algor algorithms in graph then always go with the arbitrary okay so as per the arbitrary order you need to select your node over here then visit that vertex and insert that vertex in given queue okay now step number three is Visit all the unvisited vertex of that node that is situated at the front position. What we need to do over here, first we need to visit the node, then, then put that node into the queue, then visit all the unvisited adjacent nodes. Remember, all the unvisited adjacent node of that particular node. Okay. So, whatever the element there is, in the front position of the queue, you need to visit all the unvisited adjacent nodes of that particular front node. Next, step number four. If, if there is no new vertex to be visited for the front node, then just remove it. You need to delete it from the queue. Step number five. Repeat step three and four again and again until and unless your queue becomes empty and all nodes visited. So, you will get final answer as your spanning tree. I already told you that we will get spanning tree after the DFS. Again, after BFS, we will also get the spanning tree. So, what does it mean by spanning tree? We will see in our next lecture. Till that, just understand about the BFS process. So, first we have this example. The graph is same as DFS example. Okay. So, here I have A b c okay then d e and f over there okay fine so the what you need to do is first you need to make a q with the same size of number of nodes in the graph here number of nodes in the graph are six that's why i need to make a q of size six and with that i am going to maintain an array of visited nodes same as dfs algorithm so here it is this is my nodes, this is my visited array, and this is my queue. This is my queue of six size. Okay. This is my array, okay, which I'm going to maintain over there just for the visited or not purpose. That's why. Now, step number two is take any vertex as per the arbitrary order, then visit that vertex and insert into the queue. Repeating the steps. Take any vertex according to arbitrary order. So here we need to take arbitrary order node A okay then then insert that vertex in q and visit it so i'm going to perform three different steps the first step number one first take a vertex a then insert a vertex into the q so that's why my f and r both point into the same position so first element in my q that is a and visit a that's why my zero becomes one for node a check out the array visited array where for node a my zero becomes one that at that time we are just maintaining our sequence whether my nodes are visited or not fine now step number three we have visit all unvisited adjacent node of a okay so what we need to do is first we need to just visit a node 
okay then then in the answer i have already written over there a okay so first you need to just visit a node a then just find out its unvisited adjacent nodes and visit both of them just find out its unvisited adjacent nodes and visit both of them students what i need to do is i just need to find out the unvisited nodes so adjacent nodes of a are c and d check out the nodes adjacent nodes of a are c and e so i need to visit c and e but the question is you cannot visit both of the nodes simultaneously right so what you need to do you just need to visit one by one one by one so uh, always we are just performing any operation according to arbitrary so first i visit c then e that's why in my queue i am writing c and e c and e so first i am inserting c in the queue in the queue and maintaining both c c and e so i am just visiting c and e over there so make the value visited from 0 to 1 for c and e and insert c and e inside the queue so in which order we need to insert c and e for c or e always remember you need to go arbitrary that's why you need to insert for c then e that's why after inserting two values my rear pointer is pointing at e okay now step number four so step number four is see my visiting order is also there okay my answer is a c and e up to now my answer is a c and e first i visited a then c then e this is a breadth first search first when we visit a then c and then e this is the breadth first search okay now next we have step number four that means if there is no new vertex to be visited okay there is no new vertex to be visited then you just need to remove the element from the queue okay so for node a for node a if i consider front pointer at a so for node a students is there any node that is remaining to be visited no so you just need to delete it you just need to delete it so i'm just deleting a over there and my front pointer is now pointing to c so after this what i need to do is i just need to again repeat step number three and four three and four okay so number three and four until and unless my queue becomes empty so students right now my front binder is pointing at c that's why i need to go with c so here it is now just do all steps same as a for c so first you need to visit all the adjacent nodes of c so adjacent nodes of c are b d and f b d and f so i need to visit all three nodes but remember you cannot visit all three nodes simultaneously so just go arbitrary wise so first we have b so i am just visiting first b c my rear pointer is incremented okay and b point becomes one in visited id b becomes one next i am going to visit d okay so rear pointer is incremented and d becomes one and at last i am going to visit f where my rear pointer is at f and the visited id becomes one so up to now students my all nodes are visited that i know according to that visiting order i am just inserting the answer like this a c e b d and f in the answer tab but wait my queue is still not empty that means you need to check for each and every node again right now my front pointer is at f so what i need to do is i just need to check again the adjacent nodes for c okay so is there any adjacent node is still pending for c yes or no no that means you need to delete c so here it is i can delete c my front pointer will go ahead and now it pointing to e okay so here i'm just representing that highlighting the e over there that means that shows my front pointer is pointing at e okay now tell me is there any node that is pending for e e adjacent are node e adjacent are d and a all adjacent nodes of e are already visited so what i need to do is i just need to delete e okay so here it is i can delete e that's my front pointer is incremented and it goes to the b now again for the b check it out is there any is there any adjacent node that are pending to be visited no so what you need to do is you just need to remove d that means delete b okay so here it is delete b fine next after deleting b my front pointer is at d right now that's why now check it out is there any adjacent nodes pending at d no 
that means all adjacent nodes of D are already visited. So what you need to do is you just need to put a delete operation on D. So here it is delete D. Fine. Next we have next we have after deleting D we have only one node. See my front and rear both are pointing at the same position in Q. It is maintaining the Q algorithm also. So now my front pointer is at F. That's why I need to delete F over there. And that is all the nodes of F are visited. All the nodes of F are visited. That's why I can delete F. Okay. So that's it. My Q becomes empty. My Q becomes empty. So now this is my final answer of the traversal of BFS. If you have seen about the traversal order, it goes like visit node, visit a node, then visit its all adjacent nodes. Now take take according to arbitrary wise any one node. We have A, C and E over there. Okay, so what I did, I just first after A, I just go, go with C, then E. Okay, so it goes like this. So you just need to follow the sequence of the answer. Okay, first take A. Write down its adjacent nodes. This is easy way. Okay, first take A. A, write down its adjacent node. They are C and E. Just I, I am writing C and E. C and E. Okay. A is all adjacent are completed. Now click on C. Write down its all adjacent. Adjacent of C are B, D and F. B, D and F in the sequence. B, D and F. Okay. So what happens? All the nodes are coming. So your answer is done. So you can write down the answer of BF is in maximum 5 to 10 seconds. But in an exam or according to algorithm, we need to pro follow this process. Fine. So this is your final answer of BFS. Now let's take a look at the algorithm for BFS. Okay. How the Q works. So the algorithm of BFS for G, G stands for the graph. Okay. Then while, while G has unvisited node. Until and unless you have unvisited node, you need to follow something rules. These are the rules. First, V. V is a, an unvisited node. You need to make V as a visited. That's why visit of V arrow 1. Visit of V arrow 1 visit is an array which maintain which maintain the visit sequence of node V. Okay. So visit of V arrow 1, that means visit of V is equal to 1. Then NQ V comma Q that shows you just need to after visiting the node what we are doing after visiting the node we are just inserting the our node in the queue that means nq operation and q shows insertion in queue fine next while again you need to repeat the below steps until unless your queue becomes empty until unless your queue becomes empty you need to follow this steps okay step number one x is equal to dq of q okay what i am doing is i am just deleting an element Okay, and then just uh, assigning to X, deleting the element from the Q and assigning to X and then all the unvisited adjacent nodes of X are going to be inserted in Q. Okay, what I am doing over here, first I am just visiting A, that's why visit A arrow becomes 1, then insert A into the Q, okay, that's it. Then after deleting A, I am just finding out the adjacent nodes of A are the B, C or E whatever it is like in our example we have C and E I am just inserting them into the Q and removing the value from the Q A okay so I am just inserting adjacent nodes in Q that is the here for unvisited neighbors Y of X for unvisited neighbors Y of X X means A and Y means first we have C then we have E okay so here it is what you need to do is you just need to visit them and insert them into the queue. Fine. So such like this your algorithm works for the BFS. Okay. Just try at home to trace this algorithm. Next. So that's it for today's lecture students. Thank you so much.